hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my, why do I always like who I, maybe I should come up with another phrase, <laughs> maybe that's a good idea. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I am a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And if you haven't been here before, today I am doing the second part in one of my theme weeks. I am doing all the videos that comes up this week is going to be with Lunar Beauty. I love to do these theme weeks and you seem to like them as well. So this week it's all about Lunar Beauty. So yesterday I did use the Greek Goddess. I'm not sure that that palette was the first of the ones that I have that we're going to go with that. And today I'm going to use Strawberry Dream. This might have been before Greek Goddess. I have no idea. And I could look it up, but I haven't. Sue me. So the palette looks like this. I have done a face-off and... A first impression and get ready with me with this one. It feels like I should have done something more with it, but I can't figure out. I, I couldn't find anything else on my YouTube channel, so I don't know. But this is how it looks. I'm going to do a blue look today. Like, I really want to do a more pinkish look, but the two looks that I've done with this one is pink, so I actually will do a blue look. So just get started. I think I'm only going to like focus on these shades. I know this is not a blue, you don't have to tell me. With these two blue and this storm cloud. I think I'm just going to have it like that. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I want to do a blue look with this. If I'm going to be honest, I have no idea. Yeah, I maybe take this cloud as well. We'll see. But I will start with a blue sky in my inner crease. And I hope that this is really like this. This blue. I will tap it off. I really hope that this is super bright. Maybe not that super bright. Maybe it is workable. Okay, it is a little bit darker than I expected it to be. But I think it's workable. This always... I, I like to do like this, to take <laughs> light shade in my inner crease, but you always look like a crazy person in the beginning. I wonder if it is like either my brush that wasn't that super clean but I haven't used any dark shades on it or if it's just one of these shades that isn't as bright as in the palette. It could be this. It could be that. So I'm not like super disappointed. Maybe it is my eyeshadow base as well. I don't know. Maybe I should just take a clean brush. And see. Okay, I don't think it's that much of a difference. Maybe a little, but I don't think it was the brush fault. Yes, maybe I should have cleaned the brushes, but I haven't. So, sorry for that. Then I will go in with this cloudy on the rest of my crease. And that is, I hope this is a little bit cold toned. And just have it here. And this I just want to have here because I don't... I'm going to use pretty dark shades on my lid. So I don't want it to be like too dark up in my crease. So, so far, so good. 
Okay, it feels like a total fail that I didn't use a clean brush for the blue one, but it is what it is. I actually don't think it would have made such a big difference. Okay, so this is going to be a whole matte look. So I'm going to take Storm Cloud out here and then I'm going to take Haze on the rest of my lid. Or do I want to do it the other way around? No. I just take Storm Cloud just a little bit out here. I usually say that and then I fuck it all up. Okay, I'm going to try to control myself. So maybe this look is going to be kind of similar to the Greek goddess. But I just wanted to do... Blue is not my favorite color on my eyes. I think blue... Do me... Does make me paler than I am. Seem possible it like washes me out I think so it's not my favorite at all <laughs> but like I need to try it maybe I can find a way that I like blue with but then I need to use blue to find that but if I only have it like this this is actually a really pretty, sh pretty shade. And I'm just going in little by little. So I tap it off because I don't want to too much of it. Okay, I think I took much more on this side than on this eye. So, and this is what usually happens, like I go in with too much on one side and then I'm putting on more on the other side and then nothing good happens. Okay, so let's go into... Uh, I'm holding a brush with my pinky. Let's go into Haze and see how this will be. I have no idea how this shade look. Looks super blue on the brush. Oh, it's really, really, really blue. Yeah, what did I expect? Apparently, not this. And now I don't know if the other blue that I took in my inner inner crease was a good choice actually but it's far too late to try to fix that one <laughs> okay this blue is really 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 gorgeous is it happening now is me and blue getting along I'm just taking the one that I had in my inner crease and take it like in my whole crease and try to blend these blue a little bit more together. It feels like I'm failing with this makeup. Where am I? Yeah, I think I am. But I guess sometimes you have to fail, so maybe this is just my time to fail. I think it would have looked so much better if I didn't have the blue in my crease. But I can't like change that now, so we just have to deal with it. I'm going in with this really dark one. In my crease as well. If I'm going to be totally honest, I'm not super thrilled about this. I'm going in with a clean blending brush. Don't want this clean here. Yeah. And just swipe it in my crease and try to mix everything a little bit better together. This might fuck it all up. Okay, this just is 
this might just be one of these looks that I need to have my base on. It could be that, or it could be one of these looks that I should start over with, but I normally don't do that because I think it's like important to sh show looks that I'm not 100% satisfied with because I am not especially like I'm like a normal person with makeup and you fail sometime and that's just how it is. I think it's important to have like the fails in the video, so it's like watching a crane wreck maybe. Okay, maybe it isn't that bad that I like see it in my head. Head. I don't know. I guess that you're going to be super nice to me as you always are. Okay, I don't think it's super bad. I don't think it's super good either. I don't like the shade I have in here. But it's not, it doesn't feel like I can do anything about it right now. It is there and I guess we just have to work with it. Okay, but you know what? I think I just need my base to this and need to do like the under eyes and hopefully it will look better. So I'll fix that and uh, I'll fix my base and then I'll come back. For my lower lash. I think I will go in with, I will go in with storm cloud I think, but maybe that is like too dark. But should we just try it? Try it. So I will tap this off and go in right here, taking it kind of slow. Okay, I know that I said that I didn't want to take any shimmers, but it feels like I want to take a shimmer in my that I want to take this one, a blue diamond, in my inner corners. So I actually think I will do that. And I will spray it because it's kind of flaky. Okay, in the camera it looks super bright. Okay. I think I'm done. So time for mascara, a blue pen in my waterline and try to find a lip. Bit. I always think that is the hardest when I'm doing blue because I don't know. But I will check the drawers. I should have something. For my waterline I took Electric from LA Girl and on my lips I took a liquid lipstick from Rethal in Anemia and I guess it works <laughs> kind of good. So this is the look and I have had this on for 15 minutes and like the blue is starting to not fade but it's not like even anymore it is started to like maybe lie in the lines a little bit I don't know and I know this is this is problem with blue shades. They aren't always super good. I think, I don't think you can see it and when I look in the mirror it looks good but when I come up close I can see it looks a little bit not opaque and a little bit patchy. But, and I, yeah, I'm not super thrilled about this look. I can, I can just be honest to say that. I think it isn't that bad as I thought it was going to be in the beginning. The one, this one I thought it was going to be a little bit brighter, but it's not a catastrophe, but I think it might be, I don't know. It's kind of late, so I will not have this on for super long, maybe two hours, tops three hours, but I think around two hours more. So I don't know how much I will be able to see if it starts to be more patchy. And I know that might be a problem <laughs> like do a review on the palette when I'm not using the shadows 
that much but it's just how it is and if it doesn't get any worse than this I think I can live with it but we will see I can write down in the description if it gets worse or not but it's an okay look I just didn't want to do a pink look again with this palette even though it's like a pink dream and I really love this gold shade this gold shimmer maybe I should hold it like this it is a pink dream it is and I don't know what I think about these blues in this one now when I've used them but the other times I've used this palette I've liked it I'm not super thrilled but I like the dark shade I, I have out here and I love the inner corners so yeah I really hope you like this video and tomorrow it's coming with the moon spell palette and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have done many looks with the Moonspell palette. So we will see what I will do for a kind of look. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!